We love using health rules and leveraging anomaly detection algorithms in order to alleviate the need from us having to babysit monitoring tools, being alerted when there is an unhealthy system. When the systems aren't behaving or performing properly, the businesses suffer as well as end users. While we may not be able to fully understand without further investigating why that particular issue occurred, simply based on an alert, we would be able to determine if that issue occurred or originated from a maintenance routine. In that case, we probably won't even need to get alerted. Let me show you how easy it is to set up alerting suppression for servers within App Dynamics during a server maintenance window, pacifying any unnecessary alert storm. We begin by clicking on Alert and Respond. We will select Servers from the drop-down, click Actions, then Action Suppression. Creating a new Action Suppression allows us to set this one-time or reoccurring event. I need to suppress my servers one day each month, so I select monthly. I select the third Sunday of each month between 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. For the object scope, I select servers, and then we have a few choices. All servers, servers within a specified subgroup, selecting specified servers or servers matching a particular criteria. I just need to select the specified servers. I'll add the three servers that I need, and then we can click the optional Health Rule Scope tab. This may be applicable if, say, you are experiencing disk I.O. to be impacted in perhaps CPU and swap files, but anything network related should still cause an alert to occur. I want to suppress everything, so I'll just deselect this option and click Create. And that's it. That's all there is to it. There's a lot of uses for this particular feature, so I'd encourage you to go check them out. Have a tip you'd like to share? Share it on our Community Share tip section, and who knows, maybe your tip will be the next tip of the month. Thanks for watching.